Hey, it's me, one Jimmy here with another political video, and today we're going to be talking about the election results again. Uh, it's not done yet, we're still waiting for everything to be counted, and I just want to give you guys a little bit of update and tell you guys to know what's going on because you know one's following it. Because I know some people that they're like, oh, what's happening? Because they didn't even look. So basically what's happening right now, we're still waiting on results from Nevada, Arizona, and Alaska. Alaska, it's pretty safe to say, um... Actually, yeah, it is safe to say, I'd probably say, 80% of the vote in, is in, and 80%, and about like 80, uh, let's see, what's that, like, 87%, right, 87, yeah, 87% of the vote is in for a Republican, for two Republicans total, combined, so, it's gonna be a Republican, okay, that that's set out for there, so, I'm looking at Nevada and Arizona, Arizona could still go Republican, it's very unlikely, very, very unlikely, but it could. You never know. In Nevada, as the time has gone on, it's going to approach this 100% mark of being votes counted. It's got closer and closer uh, between the two. Democrats have been getting more of the votes uh, in Nevada recently, um, as I would expect because, you know, mail-in voting it tends to be more so favored and done by Democrats. I am a big proponent of saying everyone should mail-in vote. I voted by mail this election. Um, I highly recommend it if you don't think you're going to be able to make it or if, if you're just not sure and you want to make sure it gets there. I think I think you should just mail and vote if, you, if you're worried about it not getting there. So, we see this is happening here. Georgia went to, is going to go to the runoff. So, we need right now, if, if you're a Republican, you, so we have 48. So, to break the, so, we need 51 for majority because otherwise the two other seats will vote with Democrats. So, if Democrats get Arizona and then Georgia, this will put the 48 plus 2, 50, 50, 50, and then... That's if we get Nevada. And then that would be, uh, you know, Vice President breaking the tie like it is currently. So, if we had lost a seat, it would be in a lot better standing right now. But hopefully this is what, what this is what we Republicans need to, to be able to win the Senate. And it's going to be very, very, very tough. They would have to get the Nevada. Right. The first, the first thing, they need to get Nevada. If they don't get Nevada, they're not going to be able to do anything. And it's very, very close right now. You can see it's extremely close. Secondly, they need to win the four the the after the four weeks the runoff election because this will put them at forty nine uh, and fifty with Alaska right so that's gets another fifty they need to you need to have fifty one otherwise it's gonna be tie and then the vice president's breaking every tie and it's it's just it's just Democrats will continue to have the Senate. Let's quickly look at the House. You see it's still going up, gained seven seats, lost nine seats, pretty big. I I think. That they will probably that the Republicans will probably get the uh, the House. I think that's pretty pretty likely to happen. I'm not saying it's 100 percent going to happen. I also want to say YouTube. Everything I'm saying is based on like what what it is, um, what's it called? Based on what like the stats show right now, currently, but where the where the vote is going, possibly could end up. I'm saying that this is all possible. This is not 100 percent what is going to happen. Um, these are just things that look like they may be. Uh, what what will occur uh, based on like past voting history and things like that so that obviously the governors right uh i, I don't yeah again, pretty much expected i wonder what yeah that, that pretty much expected is what it seems like now moving on we'll quickly look at what the democrats are do, uh you know they're padding a narrow narrow lead in the senate right arizona it seems um this article i'll link it up below we quickly go through it though uh, but yeah, if anyone doesn't know, Arizona is usually pretty slow with its ballot counting. Um, it just takes them a while. Uh, yeah, for decades it's been slow. It's definitely working 14, 18 hours a day. Uh, everyone that's there doing that, I really appreciate you guys counting. It's really, really good. We, I, I like, I really appreciate people that go and count. It's really important. But Republicans still in the hunt. It remains remain unclear whether the strong and expected showing for Democrats in this uh, sorry in much of the U.S. would extend to Arizona. So we just have to wait and see. Republicans are antsy for the results, believing the main ballots strongly favor them. I would ho hope so. I hope that would be a thing. The GOP nominated a slate of candidates who earned Trump's endorsement after false. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't like. Alright. Uh, we. That's all right, This is one of the big thing I have to say. Looking right here. Let's look at who lost here. Who did we? Who lost in Pennsylvania? A Trump-backed candidate. Who who made it so that's a runoff in Georgia? A Trump-backed candidate. People don't want the Trump-backed candidates. I'm sorry to say, it doesn't seem like they want that. Okay, it just especially the Georgia one was like, oh, like talk about sending someone that's not from the state there. Like, come on, like they, these are not what we should be doing as Republicans. We should not be sending these people out. There's right-leaning people. This is not what you should be doing. 
I just, uh, I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't seem like it's the thing. Also, I've been seeing a lot of conservatives saying that Trump should not run for 2024. And I'm kind of one of them right now because I think that it's just going to, like, uh, mobilize a lot of Democrats to go and vote. Uh, personally, I don't know who exactly I would choose. I guess DeSantis is the second option, but I have to look more into what he believes since I don't know much about DeSantis. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see. Uh, what the thing is. So, if it's the say Trump brands, I probably would vote for him just because, like, you know, I don't, I don't really agree with a lot of the Democrat policies. But again, I'm not even sure if I would vote for him at this point. Because, I mean, I don't even know. I, I probably wouldn't vote for him in the, um, I don't know what's, what's it called when the multiple candidates running for, like, the, the final spot. Whatever that is, I probably wouldn't vote for him just because him running will make the Democrats be super, super coming out to the polls. And, you know, I, I think I think everyone should vote, but if people would rather not vote because they don't really care, that's fine. You can do that. That's up to you to choose not to vote. But if, if he's running, it's going to mobilize a lot of people that probably wouldn't vote otherwise to go and vote. It's just my thought process. So um, everyone should vote if they want to. If they don't feel like it's a threat, for instance, say like it's, it's Santos running or someone else running, they're like, oh, he's not as much of a threat as Trump would be, you know, they, 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 and they decide not to vote. That's their prerogative. But I think that Trump going up there is just going to make it so it's going to be a really big cluster. Also, there's a lot of uh, conservative people that don't like Trump because of the way he speaks. I have family members that are like, I do not like him because of the way he speaks to people, the way he acts, things like that. So, yeah, um, that's my thought on that. But yeah, this is gonna. This article talks a little bit more about like the history there. I'll link this down below. I don't really think it's super important to talk here. I just figured I'd include if anyone wanted some more extra information. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna, gonna try to crash and see it's a little bit late. But yeah, I hope you guys all uh, had had a good day. Having a good day. I love you all so much. And I'll see you next video. Bye everybody. Peace, peace.